Hello and welcome to Fandom. My name's Chris, this is Kim, and we've got lots of Marvel news to talk to you about today. Uh, we've got some Deadpool 2 information, some casting news. Uh, we've seen the first episode of Iron Fist. But first things first, we got a look at Thor Ragnarok today. Uh, Entertainment Weekly uh, released a new cover online which features Chris Hemsworth of Thor and a couple of other characters. Uh, what, what were your first thoughts of those? Well, my first thoughts, Chris, were um, of Thor's Sean Knox. He's had all his hair chopped off. Uh, but I'm thinking it looks a bit Teddy Boy. Yeah. I don't know if you thought the same, but there was definitely a bit of a pompadour thing going on. He's been talking about this as well. He was saying um, it was nice not to have to sit in the makeup chair for that hour each morning. And he said it felt like a rebirth to me as the actor, but also as the character. Um, and what of the other two characters that we've seen in the picture? Right, yeah. So um, that was quite striking as well. So we saw Kate Blanchett as Hela, the Asgardian goddess of death. And um, Tessa Thompson as Valkyrie, actually, um, she was in Westworld, if you remember. What was most striking about them, and particularly Hela, looks a handful. She's wearing a vampy outfit, she's got flowing black hair, uh, smudged black eyeliner and black nails, of course. Yeah, and in the quotes, um, they say that she's in a bit of a mood in the film. Uh, she's very angry because she's been in prison for quite a long time. Uh, she escapes, uh, she banishes Thor to a planet called Sakaar where he becomes a gladiator, and uh, I think he's going to fight Hulk there. Uh, but they've also talked about in the article the fact that there's going to be a lighter tone this time around, which is why they brought in uh, director Taika Waititi, who's best known for sort of um, comedies back in his homeland of New Zealand. Uh, what about Deadpool 2? We've got some casting or potential casting news. Yeah, yeah, there are rumours that Janelle Monet is going to be cast as Domino, um, it's not confirmed, as you say, but uh, she has overtaken actresses Mackenzie Davis of Holt and Catch Fire and Kerry Washington to lead the charge there. So um, it's looking exciting because she has obviously been in the news quite a lot recently with her two Oscar nominated films, Moonlight and Hidden Figures, um, her first two acting roles. In yeah, fact. so um, that's quite cool. And am I right in thinking it won't just be a one movie role as well? There's, there's talk that it's going to be more. Yeah, so there's an upcoming X-Force movie that this character will be in. So um, she'll be signing up to goodness knows how many Marvel movies, but uh, it's quite exciting. Cool, be interested to watch that one. And uh, finally, I have seen, well, we've both seen actually, the first episode of Iron Fist. Um, it's not on Netflix until March 17th, but they're allowing us to talk about it in kind of spoiler-free fashion early. And both of us, it's fair to say, were somewhat underwhelmed. I've been watching all these Netflix shows so far, and to be honest, this is the least of the first episodes. Um, it just never really gets going. Uh, the subject matter is a little bit boring. It's a bit all over the place. Um, the fight scenes are a bit underwhelming. It's a lot of scenes of Danny Rand returning from, from having been missing 15 years and people not recognising him. Mm -hmm. And then more people not recognising him. It doesn't draw you in, does it? There's, a, there's not really any kind of promise of superpowers here. It's... Yeah, we get no sign of the Iron Fist and some pretty rubbish fights. But the best thing in it is is, is Finn Jones as, as Danny Rand. Uh, he's a British actor who's best known for Game of Thrones up until yeah. this point. He's really good. He brings a sense of fun to it. It's got a lighter tone than the other shows at this point. Uh, the only way is up from here, but it's sort of a disappointing debut, I think, for that character. So that's our Marvel Roundup. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to check out more news and stories, head to fandom.com. And to hit us up on our social channels, they are all at GetFandom.